Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or just welcome to my channel if you are new, and this video I'm going to be talking about um, not being afraid to try new things with your art. By new things, I mostly mean like different techniques or like stylistic choices that maybe you're just a little scared to try, because once upon a time I was also really scared to try those type of things, and I still am sometimes. <laughs> but yes, before I get into that, a little bit about the drawing that's um, speed painting in the background here. This was a semi chibiish doodle I did of Barnaby from Tiger and Bunny a while ago. It was like part of a doodle page I doodled a lot on, and there's just this one doodle in there I really wanted to draw for like for real. And it's basically just Barnaby in this like tailcoat suit, but it was like a bunny tailcoat suit. It was, it's supposed to be like a, a bunny suit kind of thing, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so. I used my original sketch as a base and kind of fixed it up a little bit because it was a little lopsided and then pretty much drew over it like I normally would. Well, kinda. I actually used a little bit of a different coloring like style or, or technique for this since I was just playing around but yeah, so it's kind of related to the topic but it's also just something for you guys to watch while I, I ramble. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's get to it. So try new things in your art. Like I said, by this I mean like stylistic, um, like choices and techniques if you want to try it just go for it so like a, a new shading style you want to try just just try it a new like art style maybe you want to try just try it a little or like an art stylistic choice i mean you can just try it and if you don't like it you don't ever have to draw like that again but like like say if you want to try digital painting for example just just try it and don't be afraid about how bad it might turn out. It's like a little story back when I first tried to digitally paint. I was really inspired by like the video game art you'd see. Well, I was playing a lot of Paladins at the time and a lot of splash art in that game. It's like, it's a digital painting, there's really no lines. And so I wanted to, to try drawing like that. And of course I never reached that level but of like digital painting, but I at least gave a sh wanted to give it a shot. And so I would look up some videos of digital painting I tried. I would try to digitally paint, and like halfway through the drawing, I'm like, "This is turning out terrible. This looks. This looks horrible. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just start over." And I would scrap the whole thing and start over, and drawing with lines like I normally do. And maybe a couple times I actually did finish the painting, but I kind of like rushed it at the halfway point because I'm like, "This is terrible. It's turning out bad. Let's just, just get it done," and it didn't turn out good. And so like I never really tried tried if that makes any sense so this one time i decided to, to try digitally painting and i halfway through the drawing as usual i'm like this is this is turning out horrible and i have no idea what i'm doing or at least i feel like i don't but i scrapped the project the last two times i tried to digitally paint so let's go through with it this time so i just pushed through and actually tried and rush it and i finished it and in the end it didn't turn out half bad honestly obviously it's a very amateur digital painting but it turned out better than i thought it was gonna turn out if that makes sense and i think i was forgetting that a lot of times art has that like ugly stage if that makes sense or like a messy stage the reason why i probably wasn't looking that good halfway through the drawing was because i was only halfway through the drawing it wasn't finished if that makes sense so of course it's gonna look all jacked up when you're like don't have all the details painted in, your shading and lighting is like barely there. And, you know what I mean? You're just you're just capturing the form and you're like it wasn't finished, so you gotta remember that too if you try a new technique or something. It might not look good and when you're like halfway through the drawing you're just thinking this is turning out terrible, maybe I should just not do this. Just tr just start over with and draw it how I normally draw, but like I said the drawing isn't finished. Maybe just just finish the drawing and maybe it won't turn out half bad. Maybe you'll impress yourself. Who knows? But yeah, so that's kind of what I mean by like trying new things in your art and to not be afraid to try those new things. And don't, don't give up. Like I said, if it's turning out bad halfway through the drawing, just, just push through it. Just finish it. Maybe you'll impress yourself. So yeah, that's, that's really it. And like I said earlier, for this doodle, I was actually trying a different way of coloring. And I, uh, you know those really, like, crisp 
detailed anime style illustrations you see sometimes. I'm like, there's like I said, super detailed and shitty lighting. Well, I kind of always like wondered how they got it so like dynamic looking, and I feel like I probably noticed this subconsciously, but I didn't really know exactly what it was they're doing. But I was on Pinterest once, and I saw this like little step-by-step -step thing in passing, and it looked like that kind of coloring style. If I could find the picture, I'll put it here. But but like so, I didn't really like save it or like follow it step by step. I kind of saw like, hmm, so that's how they do it. And I thought, you know what, let's do do it like this. I'm like, you know what, let's try that. So I tried it, and it basically seemed like you kind of just where the light's hitting, you kind of you like flat color, and then with the light's hitting, you kind of add a lighter color there. So it kind of seemed like, like I said, I didn't follow it step by step. I just took from what I remembered. <laughs> But yeah, so like say the dark vest in here, I kind of just took the dark color that I used as the base, I flat colored it, and then I just kind of airbrushed a lighter version of that color where the light was going to be hitting. Very subtle, but yeah, so I was just playing around with that. I don't know if it turned out good or what, but and I also used a messier like brush to draw the line art because I wanted it to kind of resemble my original sketch, and I also shaded and lit this with that makes sense. I shaded this and lighted this using a messy watercolor brush that I've been liking to use a lot lately to shade and light because it's just fun to use to shade and light. And that's all for now guys. Remember if you like this video to give it a like and consider subscribing maybe if you want to see more speed paints like this and I'll see you all in the next video guys. Bye bye